Hello everyone. So today I thought it would be fun to do like a really quick unboxing of a jet pen order that I placed probably about like a week ago, maybe a little over a week ago, something like that. I, I don't know. Maybe I placed it Sunday. So I thought, um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get some scissors. So yeah, I thought it would be fun to just kind of like unbox this with you guys maybe and see, show you guys what I got. Um, so it's kind of like a mini jet pen, jet pens haul. Um, they just shipped it in this bag. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with jet pens, but if you place a, an order of $35 or more, you get free shipping. So I think that's everything in the bag. So let's talk, let me set that to the side. Let's start with this. Um, the packaging is very interesting. So this is like my packing, yeah, this is my packing slip. It doesn't have the prices on it. Um, so I'll try to, I'll tr try to see if I can link, link each individual item. Jeez Louise, they like saran wrapped this. I'll try to link each individual item um, down in the description. Just to kind of show you guys what I got. So let's, let's do this. Goodness gracious. All right. So the first thing I got was I bought a bunch of like small sticky notes, um, various colors, various sizes. I just thought these were like super cute um, to use kind of wherever because I always feel like I'm writing stuff on sticky notes. Like these are like little, yeah, they're pretty cute. And it looks like, I always like to test the stickiness more so. That I don't think they're like the stickiest, but they stick fairly well. And then I will use a gel pen, maybe, if I can find one. So let's go with the pen I'm currently using, which is the Sarasa Dry Point 4. So I'm just going to test because I realized in my last like post-it haul, I didn't do a pen test. It looks good. Not smearing. So that's nice. These are super cute. They look like little notebooks and such. So I'll leave uh, each, like I said, I'll try my best to leave each item linked down below. And then I got these colors, which I just, I think they're pretty. I, I kind of gravitate to like pinks and purples a lot. Um, and then these, I mean, they kind of move, they're not the stickiest and, but there's that. So I'm not sure what I, yeah, they're not sticking that great to the paper, but I think they'll do. And then these are like, I'm not going to open these, but these are exactly the same, except they are a gray colorway. So I just thought like I could use these, um, you know, in monthly spreads or like if I needed like a small spot on weekly spreads or even like as a page flag, I just think these are cute. And I have explained before you guys that I'm kind of a sticky note addict. So, and then I purchased this planner, which is called the separate planner. It's B6 size and it's on Tamoy River paper. Um, because I need to revamp my work planner situation because it's not my, the rings work so well for me, like in personal, in my personal life, but it is not working for me in my, um, in my work planner. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can kind of walk through this together. They have several different styles of this planner. So it's called the separate planner. I'm not sure what the brand is. I don't know. Maybe that's the brand. Let me look at my packing slip. Yeah, it's a Ludite Functional Pro Notebook B6 Separate Planner is what it's called. Um, and so let's kind of talk about it. It's on Tamoy River paper. It's not the cutest cover, but that's fine. But look how thin that joker is. So you kind of have like a blank page when you open it up. It's undated, undated monthly. So the Monday start. Um, the weekends are kind of highlighted in a different color on the monthly spread. And I think you get 12 months in here of undated monthlies, which I think this will be good for me. I'll probably, I'll start using this in February. And so you have your monthlies here. And then on your monthlies too, you have like this, almost like a perpetual calendar situation. So it's very like basic. And then you have like a spot, I guess, to write out like notes or 
or whatever. I think I got you guys zoomed in too much. So, and it is Tomoy River paper. I'm trying to see what the label said. Um, I'm trying to see if it says the weight of the paper, maybe. It's 176 pages. It's 12 months and 52 weeks. It's a flat laying uh, book. I think you have to kind of like finagle it. It doesn't lay like completely flat. So I guess I should, you know, point that out. Um, and it doesn't say the GSM maybe. It doesn't say the GSM of the paper. But it's oh, 52 right here in my face. 52 GSM paper. And then after your monthlies, it moves into these weeklies. And um, I have been gravitating to a Hobonichi week style weekly. But I'm really, I, I what made me want to try this planner, honestly, is um, the weekly spread. So you basically have like this Hobonichi week style, but if you look closely, it has like these different lines where I guess if you wanted to turn it this way, you could make these like timed events. Um, you have like a little box like from here to here that doesn't have the little lines that you could probably write appointments and events. I probably won't use it that way. I'll probably just write important things and then down the side here it has a checklist and then here it just has like a column that you can use so it has um 52 weeks of weeklies which uh i'm learning this is all i need for work because i use a lot of notebooks and like i'm trying to like make my work planner way too dang complicated and i need to stop so i have that and then in the back after you have your 52 weeks and it does lay flat i just think you have to kind of crease the pages a little bit in the back you have some notes pages you have a good bit of notes pages they're not numbered and they're aligned but you have a good bit of notes pages as well but i love how thin this notebook is and it's i think it's going to suit me for work so i wanted to see because here's here's what's going on in my life um and why i'm wanting to change my work planner is I'm currently in graduate school too. Um, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, I'm also in graduate school. So I'm using this Stalogy um, because I'm also doing an internship and my internship and my job are really like intersecting at the moment. So I wanted something that I could just carry in this because this has been going in my purse. Like this is my learning contract. And then I just kind of write down like notes um, in here to like detail my work day because um, I log my hours. So the plan was for me to like slide this bad boy in here. Look at that. This is a print pressing cover, by the way. So just slide that bad boy in there. And voila, I'm toting around one book as opposed to a, you know, a, a fat um, FC compact ring planner. So, I think this will work well, um, and I may move the Stalogy over on this side just so I can have like a harder surface. Because what I'm no what I'm seeing right now that could be a problem for me is like it's kind of bumpy here um, for writing. So yeah, but yeah, so that's cool. This is a really cool little notebook. Again, it's not the prettiest. I could I have like a B6 cover, like a clear cover, and I could cover this if I wanted to, but I don't really care because again, it's a work. Planner, or if I wanted to, I could use um, the strings. So this also has strings in it. So maybe, yeah. I could also put it in here like a TN and just have strings. So either way, I could use it in that way. Um, and I think there was like another weekly layout and then like a notebook and then also a, um, a daily planner too. So there were a lot of options with this brand, but I remember this was 19 bucks because I was like, oh, I can do a $19 planner. So yes, that's my plan there. And then the last thing I got was I did some research. I'm interested in um, a fountain pen because I purchased, I found these at Walmart. These are zebra fountain pens. Um, and there's the nib. It's a 0.6 nib is what it said. And it came in a pack of like, uh, black and then purple, which is what you're seeing in here. Um, cause I don't mind like bright colors for like scribble notes. And so I've been using it and it's been fun. So then I got intrigued. Um, I've been using it in my Hobonichi weeks and also in my cousin. And so I was like, I want to try a fountain pen, but I don't want to spend a bunch of money because fountain pens are expensive. So I did a little bit of research and I, um, watched several YouTube videos and learned that, this 
Pilot Metropolitan is a good beginner slash budget friendly fountain pen. So it was, it was about 20 bucks. So I said, it's worth a shot. Let's give it a try. I don't know. And let me start off by saying <laughs> again, I don't know Jack about fountain pens. So I just thought it would be cool. So this has a really good weight to it. Like it's, it's, it's a good weight. I got the fine nib. Um, and it does say, Oh, let me turn it this way. It does say on the nib pilot and it says F in Japan. So I guess the F means it's fine tip, um, but it does have a really good weight and feel to it. So I kind of like that. Um, and then let's see, I don't know what I'm doing. So I think you just like unscrew this from my understanding. It also comes, um, with this converter. So I'm trying to figure out like, how does that work? Do you just like suck the ink up in it? Is that how that works? Uh, so yeah, it has a converter. I guess you like dip it in. Is that right? And then you suck the ink up in here. So I don't know. Oh, that comes off. So I don't know if like you set this thing in here. I guess I should probably like read some instructions, but I think you can like, can you set this in here? No, I don't think that fits. I don't know how this goes. I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna have to like do some research cause I, I cannot <laughs> do this on camera. But yeah, <clears throat> I, and I bought a bunch of ink. I don't know if this is good ink or not. So if you guys know about fountain pens, let me know. My dogs are working at the leaves blowing. But so I don't know if this is good ink, but it's worth a shot. Like I said, I just didn't want to spend a bunch of money, um, honestly, on this. I'm just being real. Like I'm, I'm cheap, um, frugal, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So yeah. Um, uh, what I'll have to do is figure out how to use it. It does come with like a use and care guide and it tells you, I guess it tells you how to do stuff, but, um, I kind of don't want to do that on camera. So I'll get it set up and then I'll test it maybe in my plan with me video, but it's a really cool looking pen and it comes with a little case. Like it's kind of cheap. The case is kind of cheap. Maybe I put it in backwards. Um, but it looks cool. Yeah, this is like a cheap plastic, but it's a pretty cool case. Um, so the plan is I'm going to try this in my Hobonichi Weeks and Cousin, but I like the way it feels. It's like got a good weight to it to me. But anyway, so, yep, that's my little, uh, my little Jet Pens haul. It's pretty cool. Um, so pretty happy with my order. Um, just thought I'd share in all honesty. Thought it would be like a little fun little Friday bit video. <laughs> um, so that's, that's what I got. I like it. So I don't know that I can answer any questions, but I'll, like I said, I'll do my best to link all each individual item down below. Um, if you want to, you know, check them out yourself, but, um, yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay. Well, I'm coming in with the same video because actually it was not as hard to put in. I did get ink on my fingers because I didn't know what I was doing, but it was just you took the little, the little doodad and you stuck it down in there until it clicked. And then you gave it a couple of squeezes and it was supposed to get the ink flowing. Um, so I thought I would just really quickly, um, do a follow up and a test. This is the Pilot Metropolitan. I really like the, uh, the way it feels. I don't even know if I spelled that right. And this is fine nib. So this is just the ink that came with it because I, like I said, I don't really know a whole lot about inks and such. So that's how it is in my Hobonichi weeks. Um, I like that it's a thinner nib than this pen. So that's the zebra. So I'm gonna give that like a second to dry and see how that works. Um, as far as, I mean, this is Tamoy River paper. So there's definite, it's not like necessarily bleed through, but there's definite ghosting. Um, and then just kind of turn the page. Let's see if there's like transfer. I don't see any transfer um, from that. So that's good to me. Um, I didn't see any. I don't know if you guys see any, but um, 
I like the way the pen feels. Like it feels really nice in my hand. Um, this is how I hold my pens. Let me zoom you guys out just a little bit. Um, but this is how I hold my pens and it's very comfortable in my hands. Like I could even see this using as like a, an everyday writing instrument. And then let me pull out my Hobonichi Cousin so you guys could see it on um, on that paper. So I really haven't been doing a lot of tests in here, but I'll do it on this addresses page because I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to put um, Pilot Metro Fine Nib. So it's, you know, there's some line consistency. It's not coming out like super fast. And what I did with the converter was I just kind of kept it in the case here. Um, so kind of same premise. There's definitely like ridging and ghosting, but no bleed through. And I don't see any transfer. So I don't know if that means it has dried fully. So, um, I definitely, I like it. Um, I don't, like I said, I'm not a fountain pen expert, so I can't say um, one way or the other if this is like a high quality fountain pen. I can just say I like it <laughs> and be done. So yeah, anyway, that's just kind of like my quick overview review. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.